Hey guys, I'm back here doing some Pokemon Showdown live. Uh, not live, post narration. Uh, I do know I haven't really been uploading that very frequently recently. And uh, I do apologize for that, but the thing is, I just kind of grew bored with the game. Uh, like, for example, this game, uh, this game that this is right here in front of you, this match, uh, it's actually from like, I want to say a month ago? It was just a really long time ago. For example, I'm still running Specs Tokus on this set instead of Scarf. But, uh, I don't know, I just, I just grew bored with the game, I just, you know, didn't really feel like sitting down and playing, you know, going on showdown, or, you know, just recording in general, but, uh, uh, that should change, hopefully, so, uh, you know, just to get on the swing of things, so, like I said, I'm bringing you these guys, guys, these very, 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 uh, old battle, uh, and, uh, well, sorry, <coughs> Sorry, he's like had the urge to sneeze and then he just went away and it's just really weird. But anyways, you guys should already know this this team that I use by heart. My opponent is using uh, what looks to be a really, really annoying team. Of course, Landers, Heatran, Ferrothorn is just really fucking annoying to deal with. Uh, I do have Togekiss that kind of shits on that core, but I have to, uh, you know, like predict correctly and shit like that. And even then, uh, Specs are fierce, the only a 2 KO and Special Offensive Heatran, so, you know. It, that's gonna that's gonna be my biggest problem, like fucking Heatran. Uh, aside from that, I do have things to you know, do, you know, do with this team. Uh, the one thing that, of course, like I said, is gonna cause me problems is gonna be that fucking Heatran. Maybe even the Feral Thorn. Feral Thorn almost gives me problems. But uh, that's beside the point. Let's just begin the match because it's actually kind of long. So I uh, didn't know what to lead off with. I assumed Toad gets to be a good lead. Uh, See, so this has to lead off with the Heatran. Uh, you're just gonna go straight for the Specs R Spears, put the 58% and see, that's to stay in, because of course, Heatran for the most part has nothing to fear from Togekiss, aside from the very, 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 very rare R Spear. And as you can see, there's a solid 2 uh, he sets up his rocks. I'm gonna switch out here, because he, I know he'll either switch out into his, into his, uh, Latias, or go for Protect. So I'm gonna go to my own Latias, um, to get a free switch off, and, you know, possibly, you know, defog these rocks away. So then I could get a free switch out into my Togekiss yet again, and then proceed to uh, Air Slash. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to defog as this Heatran decides to go fully Toxic this turn. Which is known as fuck, because I'll have a Cleric on his team. And uh, at this point, I'm actually kind of salty. I'm, I'm a little upset, because I fucking hate Heatran. Uh, I mean, I have things to deal with it, but... It's just, you know, it's just a fucking pain in the ass. I'm gonna go to Tyranitar instead of going on to my uh, Togekiss. Uh, don't really know why. Now uh, this turn here, I just sit here brooding for a really long time. I had Sceptile MC at the, uh, on the on a call at the time, so we were just debating what could be the best possible move. Uh, I decided to go for the Ice Punch, expecting the Lander C to come in, because of course Lander C hits on any Tyranitar variant. Um, you know, because of Intimidate and things like that, but that was, of course, assuming that was a physical defensive lander C, which, looking at his team, I, I assumed it was, because uh, it, you know, rounds up the, the uh, defensive core with the Heat Drain and Pharaoh Thorn. So, uh, I opt to go for the Ice Punch, expecting that to come in, but, uh, in the end, what I should have done is gone for the Stone Edge, because it was just my better play overall. I hit literally everything except the Pharaoh Thorn for neutral damage. So, uh, I Mega Evolve and Ice Punch the Zoomerill, and it does absolutely nothing because Zoomerill is bulk as fuck. So, that's that. I'm gonna go into my Feral Thorn though. Uh, if he turns out to be a Belly Jet set, well, I can just go into my Quagsire because Quagsire actually shits on Zoomerill without, you know, Choice Band or anything like that. But, uh, I'm gonna go to Feral Thorn. He predicts this very nicely. He baits my switch into, and uh, goes on to his Heatran. So, things works out, work out for him very well there. And uh, I do believe I'm going to have to speed this part up because it's just me trying to play around this Heatran and I do it so badly that uh, I actually cry a bit. I'm going to go to my Quagsire. Uh, take either the Lava Plume or the Toxic because uh, I thought the switch was going to be pretty obvious. Actually, not to take the Toxic. I knew he was going to go for Lava Plume. So that's that. Uh, here, I think I'd go for the Scald. Or do I go for the earthquake? I don't even remember. Yeah, I go for Scald and I burned the Feral Thorn, right? Yes, I burned the Feral Thorn, so that's very nice. I knew to the Feral Thorn, get some residual damage racking up on that thing, so that is fantastic. Uh, so, meaning that a uh, group portion of my team would just completely shit on its life without fear of, you know, 
gyro balling or, or power whip or knockoff or whatever move he has to be running in the last lot. Uh, he goes with the lead seed, which is known as hell. I should have gone to my own Feral Thorn, but uh, I always have this mindset of not going onto my Feral Thorn until my the side of you know my side of the field is clear of stealth box, which is a really stupid mentality to get myself into. Uh, that uh, this Feral Thorn decides to lead, you know set up a layer of spikes, which is surprising. Uh, seeing as you know the how prevalent defog is in the tier now, uh, seeing hazard stacking teams is kind of bizarre. Alright, he goes for protect as I think I go for the defog. And I think I think I messed up and I thought that I cleared the, the field. Because I wasn't paying attention. And uh, I think I got into my Turkish. No no never mind, I just go for defog. Yeah, I go for the defog because uh, I'm smarter than the average bear. I see the size. I, I hate people like that. <laughs> like I've already shown him once that I have defog, and no, he just decides to stay in and continues fucking bullshit. Now I'm gonna go switch out of my Latias, which is actually a really stupid move, but uh, it could work in my favor depending on how things go. Uh, I do know for a fact this Ferrothorn does not carry Thunder Wave, so I'm gonna go to my Togekiss. <laughs> And uh, go for the air slash because uh, I wanted to flamethrower, but of course heat trap might come in, so I go for that. And uh, was also hoping for the flinch, which I didn't fucking get. So now I'm even more upset because he gets the leech off on me, and it's just overall really fucking annoying. Uh, I do believe I switch right back out into my Latias here. Maybe, hopefully, get a recover off uh, and the potential protect or even leech seed if he decides to go for that. No, I mean not leech seed, um, protect. No, not protect spikes. But I knew he would most likely protect us. Uh, Air Slash was gonna finish him off that turn. Um, so that's that. Uh, he foolishly goes to protect when he sh he, he should have just gone for the lead Because I mean, what the hell can I do to this Ferrothorn to take him off when that range of that he was at? I don't know. I'm just gonna go for recovery, get my HP back up to a relatively decent amount of health. I'm gonna defog yet again, get rid of those two layers of spikes. I, I believe goes for another layer of spikes, and that is just. Really, really fucking annoying. I don't know why he persists on trying to set up his spikes. I mean, sure, I guess he's trying to set up a sweep for, for either his uh, a zoom barrel or his uh, most likely mega hair cross. Uh, but I, you know, I, I find it to be rather foolish. Cause I have recovered my Latias, so I can keep it healthy for as long as I need to to get the, you know clear the field of uh, these rocks. Uh, I go for the air slash yet again. I could have gone for the R spear. Uh, because then of course it doesn't miss, but of course I'll give him a free switch into, uh, his, uh, Azumarill, his Latias, his Landers, you know. Air Slash was just overall better. He's gonna go to his Heracross, and I know Heracross outspeeds Togekiss before he Mega Evolves. So I'm gonna go straight to Mechanicus. At this point in time, he was kinda useless. Was the most expendable member of my team, is what I'm trying to say. And, um, uh, he actually ends up surviving this Rock Blast, which is actually really nice. And uh, funny thing about this Caesar, he actually becomes the MVP and my win condition at the end, which is hilarious. Because uh, here, uh, I go for Super Prize, you can see there. Again, another turn that I took forever to uh, to make. I was thinking of going for U-turn and you know, just sacking off my uh, my Caesar. Because uh, me and Sceptile MC, we decided he was kind of useless. He was not going to be useful as long as he has that Heatran and the Zoomerill around. So he, you know, was, and the Lander. So he really was going to be too useful. So, uh, I think I think we decided just to go for Super Power in case he wants to go out to his Heat Train. He doesn't want to take too much damage with this, uh, with this Heracross because it could be his very own win condition. And, uh, we decided, you know, just Super Power just for the hell of it because, I mean, after all, we were just sacking the Caesar, like I said, like three times now. And, uh, it pays off because we took out the Heat Train. And that actually, op like I said, opens up the window for Caesar to put in some fucking work. All I need to do is clear the, the field of, of uh, spikes. And and the thing is, I just need to get Defog off and I'm good to go. Because he his Stealth Walker is dead. His Spiker is dead. You know, I'm just, I'm I'm set to go here. I'm going to go to my Toe Kiss uh, to take either an Earthquake or a U-Turn uh, if he's going for that. Or Knock Off even. And uh, he actually turns out to be a Double Dance Lander's T. And I'm... I'm, I'm fucking, well, I'm not really that terrified. I do a relatively de a very, very decent amount of damage with the Dazzle Gleam. And, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and switch out into my Latias, I believe. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go into my Latias. Uh, predicting the Stone Edge Miss, of course. Because, you know, I'm that, I'm that fucking good. 
Now I'm actually stacking my uh, Latias because it's still I'm I was still in the mindset that Caesar was actually kind of useless, but uh, it those two misses were fucking huge because I get I I clear the rock of spikes and uh, my Caesar is gonna put in some fucking work now, which is exactly what I needed. Uh, so the third stone that does manage to connect. Uh, which is good for my opponent, but of course it came a moment too late because, of course, the f the, the field is gone. You know, the the, the entry hazards are gone. So now my Caesar, 25, 20 percent health, will be able to just switch in and out as he sees fit, uh, as he sees fit, and uh, I'll proceed to hit on my opponent's left. I'm gonna scald here, expecting the Larius to come in and at least get some damage off. Uh, see if he's left over, so now possibly even get a burn. That'd be that'd be pretty well. Uh, He's gonna go into the zoom rope, probably predicting my switch out into Tyranitar. I wanna say, but uh, I decided to just go into Ferrothorn because Ferrothorn is a much better, safer play in case my opponent decided to, you know, pull a switch like that. Uh, he goes for the knockoff, so I'm assuming he didn't have superpower. I say he's decided to go for the Nietzsche because I have nothing to prove from the zoom rope, except for the aforementioned superpower, which I'm guessing he didn't have because he's probably wanting dual stab with Aqua Jet or Waterfall. Nah, uh, here I'm gonna get another lead seed off because I know for a fact that Azuma is gonna switch out. Um, so that's nice. I get some residual damage back off of the hair cross. Great. I'm gonna go to my Togekiss. Togekiss, for the most part, shits on hair cross outside for, you know, if he predicts this and goes for block blast. But no, he just decides, decides to, work, to go for close combat. Wow, can I speak? And I Tokus takes this on the shin. So uh, I was kinda hoping that Tokus would outspeed this hair cross. And uh, I don't. So yeah, that's, that's kinda depressing. He was definitely he was probably running a, a jolly nature. Uh, if he was running I mean, I would spend him in shit on this live. And it was after, actually after this battle that I decided to run Scarf Tokus just so I could, you know, prevent this from happening in the future. I'm gonna go to mechanic, because uh, after the defense drop I'm pretty damn sure super uh, bullet punch will take out uh, the hair cross. And I'll be able to Maybe to kill the remainder of his team, you know. Um, definitely be able to take KO the lander of his team. He showed he was a double dance set, so no bulk whatsoever. Cannot take that bullet punch even after the intimidate, and I'll be able to finish him off there. So that is great. Uh, I think you still very very will go wrong if I, you know, play like an idiot, which uh, does happen more often than we you would think. Um, I'm gonna of course switch out to my Saturn, my Ferrothorn. To shit on this Latias life. I could have gone into my Tyranitar, but of course I don't have Pursuit, so I can't really Pursuit Trap it. I mean, I could have gone on into it, set up a Dragon Dance, and then, you know, shadow my opponent's uh, team, but he has a Azumarill, so, you know, it's, it's kind of useless. Uh, he goes through the Draco Meter. I was kind of hoping he'd be switching out, but, cause, I mean, he has the, he has the Heracross. I can switch into my uh, Ferrothorn, so. Uh, I'm just gonna keep going for Leechy, and I will. Be, I'm am going to catch the hair cross as he switches out. I promise you that, ladies and gentlemen. Cause uh, I mean, like I said, I have nothing to fear from this lot of He's at minus what four special attack now. He's just going for Dragon Meteor. The only move he has to hit me with. Does so that? Uh, he's gonna switch out here into his Mega Hair Cross. Uh, probably predicting my protect, but I actually go for Leechy, and I fucking miss. So that's that's kind of terrible. Kind of bad. I'm gonna go ahead and switch on to my Tramps, I believe. No, I'm going to my Quagsire uh, to take the incoming close combat. So just to see how much it does. 52%, uh, pretty decent amount. But of course, Quagsire is a bulky ass motherfucker. Uh, doesn't die from that one hit. Will be a two-hit kill though. And uh, that's that. I'm gonna go ahead and sack him off because uh, I've determined that that is not a belly jet Azumarill, so I don't have to worry about belly droning uh, in the late game. Uh, Ferrothorn will be more than enough to deal with him. Uh, so now I'm gonna go into my Caesar. I uh, threaten to KO with Bullet Punch. He's gonna go into the Zumaril, which is promptly gonna get to the KO, and so is the remainder of his team. So Caesar coming in clutch at the very end. I'm so so glad I did not let him. I, I I'm so glad I did not let him die. That play with the superpower on the incoming Heatran saved my ass so hard. Holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> it's just funny to think that, uh, oh yeah, Lottie has died to a bullet punch. I right, go the hair cross. I'm gonna go ahead and switch on to my, uh, Feral Thorn, I believe. Uh, I used to get some Iron Barb damage, but I think he just goes for the Rock Blast. Or does he go for close combat? Yeah, he goes for close combat, but 
And it, you know, it's just funny. I, <laughs> the, the one member I thought to be the most useless one on my team at the moment turned out to be my win condition. That's that's pretty fucking hilarious. And uh, if I'd sacked them off there, that would have been, you know, uh, that would have been bad. I I was beat the hair across. It surprised me. Uh, I'm guessing he wasn't fully running, you know, running max speed. Uh, it turned out at the end that I actually outsped him by one point, which is hilarious. <laughs> Uh, if I got for Stone Edge, I would have been able to finish him off with Tyranitar, but um, uh, in the end, it doesn't matter because I, I would have just taken him out with the uh, Bullet Push from Caesar. Anyways, so uh, that would be the match. Like I said, very long, but of course, very good. Uh, it would have gone, of course, a completely different direction if I let Caesar die. So that is, of course, the last time I would ever consider Caesar as Death Water because he's just. He's been so since 4th gen, and he will continue to do so up until the end of time. So, uh, yeah, that'll be it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will, of course, attempt to uh, come back to this competitive scene. Maybe once the, the uh, Gen 3 rumor comes out with all the uh, new Megas. Speaking about Megas, Mega Altaria is going to be on every single one of my fucking new U teams. I promise you that. That thing is going to be so fucking good. Uh, if Tokus doesn't make it into UU, I do believe he's going to be the next retest. After I like Mega like his am. Uh, if he doesn't make it, uh, I'm pretty sure Mega Altaro will be able to fill the role that I need to need a Tokus to do, which is just a bulky flying, uh, or bulky fairy type of roost. And uh, you know, just I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyways, uh, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys hopefully next time. Uh, bye.